Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at another example of running a hypothesis test for a mean where the population standard deviation, or sigma, is known. So let's say that the average annual miles driven per vehicle in the U.S. is known to be 11,100 miles, with a population standard deviation of 600 miles. Suppose that a random sample of 36 vehicles owned by residents of Houston showed that the average mileage driven last year was 10,800 miles. Does this indicate that the average miles driven per vehicle in Houston is different than the national average? Use a 0.01 level of significance. So, let's see if Houston drivers drive less, or different anyway, than the national average. So we'll start with writing our null hypothesis. That is always a statement of equality. So in this case, mu will be equal to what we believe about this population, which is 11,100 miles is the average. And here we are interested in if the miles per vehicle is different than, so not greater, not necessarily less, just different than. So that would be not equal to for our, for our alternative hypothesis. So with an alternative hypothesis using not equal to, that means we have a two-sided rejection region here. So that means we're going to have to take our significance level of 0 0.01 and chop that in half with half of that area going into the bottom tail and half of that area going into the top tail. So 0 0.01 divided in half is 0 0.005, and so we would have an area of 0 0.005 in the top, and an area of 0 0.005 in the bottom. So our Z critical, or our boundary for our rejection region on the bottom, you can use inverse normal with an area of 0 0.005 or using just kind of our common ones here, this would be negative 2.58 as our Z critical. And up here, this would be the same, only positive. So positive 2.58. So we will be able to reject the null hypothesis if our test statistic falls below a z-score of negative 2.58 or above the z-score of 2.58. So let's calculate that test statistic or our z-star using x-bar minus mu over sigma divided by the square root of n. So our x-bar is our sample mean of 10,800 minus our mu is 11,100 over our sigma for our population here is 600 divided by the square root of the number in our sample, which was 36. So calculating that, we get a z-score of negative 3. So checking where negative 3 falls, that falls below negative 2.58, so it does fall in the lower part of our rejection region. So we will go ahead and reject our null hypothesis. So we can say there is enough evidence to reject the claim that Houston drivers drive on average 11,100 miles per year. So we are able to reject the null hypothesis that Houston drivers drive that same national average of 11,100 miles per year. All right, guys, that does it for this video on hypothesis testing for means with a known population standard deviation. Until next time, we'll catch you later.